just go to the hardware buy two of these they're stackable when they slot inside each other you don't have that much of a gap so you have that much collection for the water at the bottom the other one will slide right in so the one that you're going to put the gum tree in is the one you drill a hole right here so here's a the other one that one has no hole this one has a hole and you might be able to hear it and then the water's just dripping out on the bottom there it's a bit dark under there but you can you can hear it dripping out so that's for your gum tree to drain so we've got a gum tree in there and growing that for a while now so you're gonna have to find one so now we've got it inside and uh, my wife's actually not very happy at all with me at the moment so that's the gum tree. I might have to uh, cut him down a bit because I did train him. You can see there's string on it. I did train it to curve over so it would just sort of like curve around because a lot of the time these stick insects are stupid. They would just climb to the top of the enclosure and just sit there and wonder where the food is. And um, this is Ecoterra. It's bought it online. i uh, probably put a link in the description for it if I remember. And then we're just going to try to get it and then we'll uh, have another look with the insects in there. So I thought I was going to have to cut most of the tree back but I've only cut a small section which was sticking up way too high and I've just like heave hoed it in. So it's probably broken one of those ones at the top there but that doesn't matter though. They'll, they'll just grow and at least we've got most of the growth still on there. So that's our enclosure, pretty much done. I'm just going to put some, uh, maybe some moss in there to grow. So I'm not sure if you can tell where Fred is, but he's just under there. He's gone quite big, quite quickly. And just had him in a bottle inside a glass jar, but he's now too big. So I'm just going to shove this into there. He's a bit pissed, but he'll be right. He'll go up into that and he's got a few little brothers to join him so he's pretty much settling in and we've got two others in here which are a lot smaller one's just there it's gonna be really hard to see these guys so he's just there they're much smaller so there's also one just here you can't even see him so that can focus yeah it's not gonna focus jack focuses on the other one so we've got two there, they're much smaller, so I've got the much smaller foliage for them. So that's pretty much the setup that I've got. It's because um, sometimes I'm away and um, the water runs out in these small containers and the leaves sometimes die, the gum leaves die, but having a live one in there will save the day if shit hits a fan.